everyone, how are you going? Uh, I'm at Cobar, New South Wales. I've come from home this morning, uh, did a couple of jobs in Ivanhoe, and then come through to Cobar, do a job, and now it's time to head home, so I'm gonna cook myself some ribs, uh, pork ribs, and just uh, potatoes in a jacket, and some corn, and see how that goes. Um, haven't done this before, so a little nerve-wracking first time out, but we'll give it a crack, see what happens. Yeah, had a bit of a, a few um, a few patches of rain come through today. They're due for a, uh, about 10 o'clock tonight. They're due for a storm, so they need it though because it's been 38 and hotter and also very humid, which is unusual for Cobar. <clears throat> I've got the travel buddy on. I've had it run on about 130. I'm going to slow cook these ribs tonight. Um, there we got those there. Cut a couple of packets, so I'll do some for now and some for later. Uh, and I've just picked up this Grillmate McCormack barbecue rub. Low and slow American barbecue style. So we'll give that a crack. Some sleep corn and a couple of spuds still in their jacket. So let's get this show on the road. Get that. Stranger things have happened. Right. So, I'll close them up. Right over there. Very hot. Probably a little hotter than I was hoping, but that'll be right. We'll see that in there for a minute while I get these ribs ready. Okay. okay and that'll do a couple of sets there. Got one. And that one. That should be more than enough, I would hope. And we've got our rub here. Let's try this out. Okay. I'll save a little bit of that for the other side once we've got it going. Got the spuds here. Now I'm just gonna do those straight in our foil. Something a little different, I haven't done them in our foil in the travel buddy before. But do a little bit of butter. Salt, pepper, paprika. Hopefully the wind doesn't take it too much. And just a little, a little bit of garlic and herb salt as well. Give it a bit of flavour. Righto. There's plenty on that one. Two of those in, and then I'll do the same with the corn. I'm, I'm feeling like it'll be a good idea with the corn in the alfoil as well. Should help to cook it um, right through, so that maybe burning on one side. Okay. 
a couple of spuds and a corn. Let's pick a corn. Maybe this big, this big bopper here, I reckon. Looks good. Oh, my outer owl foil. That's enough, bro. Should get enough out of that to make it work. Perfect. So, same thing, a bit of butter, and I'll put a little bit of salt and pepper, but I don't think I'll do the garlic in this one, I'll just use the paprika, I think that's probably a better blend of flavour. Okay. I reckon that should cook up nicely. So, going with just the one tray, I'm worried about the deep pan tonight. Um, but as you can see there, we'll set that in. Um, I'll probably leave it on around, on that 130, and I reckon it should take a good couple of hours. I might even turn it down to 120. Um, and then, yeah, it should be uh, at least two, maybe th two, maybe three hours, and we should be right to have a feed, which will be um, half past nine. I'll be hungry by then. Uh, not sure which way I'm going home, but uh, we'll figure it out. I'll either go Hilston, Gulgawi, Hay, or Wilcanyon, Broken Hill, and home. See you shortly. Struggling to see me there, but we've just pulled up this. Royal Hotel Mount Hope. Uh, I, I like to pull in there quite quite often. It's a good little pub. Got a con uh, cement bar, which is very unusual, um, and usually great service as well. So, 160 k's from Coba. Uh, not a bad little stopping point. We're just going to check on the ribs and see how they go. And they look pretty good. I'm gonna get them out and uh, flip them over and put them in for a bit longer. Spuds are turn. Spuds still feel fairly hard, so let's hope that they get a bit more into them. Roll this corn as well. That seems to be going all right. Okay, let's put these ribs over. They seem to be cooking up beautifully. But I don't actually reckon I'll put any more flavour on those. I think that can just stay there. I think I'll leave that as, as is. I don't reckon I'll add any more flavour to it. <coughs> so I still reckon another good hour. Um, another good hour and then that'll put me at about Hilston. Um, so I might push on to Gulgawi, which is about 400 k from home, so let's uh, get these back in the oven and see how it goes. Let's have a look and see how it's going. I've just arrived in Hilston and they are looking scrumptious. Righto, here we are. Spuds are, oh, yep. So, oh, a little over there. Right, I'll move that. Move that. Put that in there. That in there. Get the spuds cooking a little more. Beautiful. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'll give it another halfer, which will get me to Gulgao, we should be spot on. Straight through, we'll let him go through before we worry about it. Gulgao, Royal Mail Hotel, uh, we stop here quite regularly uh, when we go and visit each other. Truck coming, 
good feed, uh, good atmosphere, just a, a genuinely good old outback pub. Um, it's halfway between Dubbo and um, home, so we use it quite a lot. All right, let's get this. I do like the look of that. So, righto. Let's plate this up. And that's pretty good. Sit that there for a minute. Warmish. Right. Let's get it nice and pork. Awesome. I don't know which bit to eat first. Maybe a beer. Cheers. lovely so three hours some ribs potato and corn you can do whatever you'd like um, if you know of a really good uh, rub or base to put on some ribs let me know comment in the uh, underneath um, if you enjoyed it let me know also and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon I'm gonna eat this dinner Very nice. Spot on.